I Fish with BCF is proudly brought to you by BCF, boating, camping, fishing. Suzuki, the ultimate outboard, and Steel Line, building Australia in steel. <laughs> what a fish! That is huge! That is incredible scenery. <laughs> what a shot! We did it! <laughs> oh, this is huge. Oh, what a beautiful fish! It's a nice fish. That is magic. I just love this. When you come to Crab Claw Island, you must go crabbing. Seriously, mud crabs are so much fun. They taste amazing, that whole hunting and gathering thing. It is the best. We're about to go 10 minutes that way. The crabs, I hear they are coming in thick and fast, and I cannot wait. It's crab for dinner. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am. I love mud crabs. And Wade and Nick, they are absolute gurus. This is gonna be so much fun. How you going, mate? Cool, how's it going, mate? Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Cool. Wade. How are you? Good. Mate, we've just met. I didn't do what I promised. <laughs> What's <laughs> this for? Nah, uh, that's what we're used to go getting some crabs, mate. Crabs and fish, so, yeah, always in the boat. Sensational. Yeah. And are we doing some more traditional things my way with pots? Yeah, mate. So the tide's up, so, yeah, we definitely need some pots today, so, yeah. Look, I've just met you. Is it OK if I keep the spear? You'll be right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, nice 15 minute run. Is this where the crabs are? Yeah, should be in the good chance, I reckon. Now I just saw a crocodile. Is he trying to get our crabs as well? Yeah, he'll be hanging around for them for sure. So there you go. he's a good sign anyway. How long do you like to leave the pots on the bottom for? Well, it depends, mate. You can go out and you can leave them soaked for, for a while. Otherwise, you can just keep keep turning them over and that, and just, just to try and find and locate the crabs, you know? We're just going to keep turning them over because I'm hungry. I'm hungry for crab! So, wait, we're having chicken drumsticks for lunch? Yeah, mate, there's just some leftovers out in the fridge, so, so we're just going to use that. They like the chicken drumstick? Mate, yeah, that's all we had at the moment, so we just use what, what we got around us, you know? I like it. We're going to use these, these little um, crab hooks just straight through. Just our pots. We normally dang them at the top so they're floating in the water, clip together, and then tie your float off on it. And then um, she's ready to throw in the water. I have never seen somebody prepare baits in crab pots that quick. You must do a bit of this. Well, I'll do a little bit, mate. Just born and bred doing it, eh? So and the chicken, I like the way it actually hangs off the top of the cage, is that better than yeah. tying it down the bottom? Yeah, it is. It's just so them crabs and that bit entice them more to actually crawl into the pot. Let's get these pots in and catch some crabs, eh? Yeah, that's it. Great work. I reckon we might even show them a couple of pots up here and that, because it, it forks here. You've got another drain on this side and on this side, so we'll just show him a couple of pots. I'll just try it on this bit here, right here. Forward, neutral, reverse, go. We just like throwing the ropes up so it's a bit easier for you to grab, grab them out of the, save you leaning in the water when especially them crocodiles are around, so you're not gonna get your hand bitten.
what we're just trying to do, we're showing the pots all in the little channels. It's high tide now, and um, all the crabs are spread out everywhere. So, so we're throwing them out in the, in the channels and that, so all the crabs come out and they're all feeding everywhere now in the high tide. And then hopefully they, they all come on, on the bite and fill up our crab pots. Bit of weight there, mate. <laughs> what are you thinking? Blue swimmer. Oh, blue swimmer. Where's the muddies? Oh, jellyfish on a two there, brother. Look out. Oh, no good at all. So, so crocodile here. Do you think the crocodile? Yeah, he's, he's definitely going in there having a look for a feed. A bit stretched open, the pot, oh, see? And you can see the chicken's not on the top anymore. He's ripped it off. Yeah. A dirty crocodile. Got my dinner. I like the spear, too. You don't have to get too close to the water. <laughs> I like that. Come on, you dirty crocodile. Leave my crabs alone. Have we got crabs? Oh, have we got crabs? That size. is an absolute beast. That's a good one, eh? That is a massive crab, two big claws. Now, would I assume he's absolutely chockers with meat this time of year? Yeah, he would be, mate. So, a full moon yep. means, means full, full crab. So, as far as crabs go, is that like a 5 out of 10, an 8 out of 10? Because to me, it looks about 10 out of 10. Yeah, I reckon he's, he's probably a good 8 out of 10. Yep. For sure. So, you tie them up so they don't hurt themselves. And yeah, you... yeah, that's right, mate. So, just to keep them fresh. Sensational. Show us how it's done, he's mate. It's good, eh? So, foot on the crab. Foot on the crab. Just want to try and get, get him in over the front. Pull your strings down the back. Yep. Come straight back over the top to lock his claws back in. Just come straight. This looks like the dangerous bit. Straight behind his fl flippers there. And then just, just like a little half hitch. Yep. Straight on. So once she pulls tight, then you can turn him over, put your toe on him, come straight and back. done. Yeah. Look at that. That is so That's good. And how long will that crab live like that if you keep it cool? She lasts a good few days, eh? How many times have you been bitten? Oh, I've come close a couple of times. <laughs> There's only two types of crabbers, you know what they are? Tell me. Those that have been bitten <laughs> and those that are going to be. What have we got here? Oh, now that is a blue swimmer crab. I didn't even know you got blue swimmer crabs here. Yeah, yeah, we got them. I reckon that's one of the best tasting crabs. You ever eat them? No, no, we're strong back. Oh, stop it. They are so good. People from South Australia. You won't like that. They are probably the sweetest crab of all. Well, I did a little bit of research into the romantic gestures of mud crabs, and it's actually fascinating. When the male is ready, he actually goes out, grabs a female, and drags her back to his hole. He waits for her to molt. When she molts, he buys her a bottle of wine, a nice meal, the rest is history. The incredible <laughs> thing, the female, she actually goes up to 30 kilometres to sea, looking for the right salt water. Oops! That baby crabs like to grow up. Oops! <laughs> Three <laughs> times a litre. So she actually goes through, it's up to 30 k's. And the interesting thing, I've actually been at Seaway and I've seen mud crabs swimming on the surface. Yep. Females? That, females. Yep. And that's what they were doing. They're actually going out there to lay their eggs. That's a big journey for a 10 legged crustacean. Oh. <laughs> and there's 30 legs, my friends. 30 legs of damn cool mud crab. Look at that. That's the difference. Listen to the legends, soak the pot for a short amount of time, and get the crabs for the crocodile does. Dinner's looking good. Jet and I are fishing a beautiful river about two hours from Benalla and catching some magnificent Murray cod. It's been absolutely sensational. Fish after fish after fish. And it's really important you get into the spots that aren't easy to access. If someone else does come to this area, they're gonna go, oh, that's too hard, and keep moving. So there's a chance the fish just in here have not had a lure thrown at them for quite a while. So. Do the hard yards, catch the fish, it's that simple. This fishing and boat ship was proudly brought to you by steelline.com.au.
when the team at Crab Claw Island suggested I take a blue water cruise to go and catch some absolute beasts. I said, why not? And that's what they've delivered. Well, Charlesy, we have arrived and it is a cracker afternoon. It's beautiful, mate. That wind's died down, so we're about 40 minutes steam out. It's just got a bit of rubble here. Sounded out some fish before, and it looks like there's a few pelagics getting around the area as well. So Sensational. It is jigga jig jig time. Let's get this happening. Jig, jig. Mate, what made you decide to put... Oh, what made you decide to pick that up again? Just trying to mix it up, Paulie. Mix it up, and sometimes when the bite's a bit slow, the jig gets the nibs. I reckon you got a solid fish here, mate. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Feels like a little jewelry or something. Oh, oh, oh nice it's a goldie. It's a goldie. Bring it. I'll just swing him. Yep. Look at that, baby. Ha, ha, ha. Oi. Oh, mate. And that is amazing. If I just have a little bit of line so I can swing this fish around, that's it. And look at that, that tiny little Gamoku rocker. It is such a good jig on goldies. Like every time I use it, yep. it catches them, eh? Perfect. Beautiful fish. These things grow to up to one metre in length, around 10 or 11 kilos. What's the best one you've ever seen? Uh, 98. 98. Yep. Hey, my stats are perfect. About a metre in length. Tell you what, Charlesy, we're on the board in a big way, and the jig has done the job. Just saw a massive reef come up on the Simrad. We thought, why not stop and have a drift? Might be a little bit calmer as well. So, chucking little metal lures, just like this guy here. See if there's a few pelagics around. It sure does smell fishy. I don't know what I've hooked, but it's big. Cup and took the storm jig I was cranking across the surface. We're running in shallow water. It's going to try and keep it away. From that reef, I can see what the spot is just there. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but conditions are far from favourable. We've got everything against us, but the great thing about this place, you can always find a fish. Now, I don't know whether this is some sort of mackerel, perhaps a trevally, but it's got a lot of weight, and it loved the look of this metal lure. Very shallow water here. I've managed to keep it away from the bombies thus far. And I have no idea what it is. I reckon a mackerel would have run harder. I reckon a trevally would have fought harder. I think we might have ourselves a mac tuna here. Gee, I wonder to eat today. Eh? I'm just seeing it come up in the top of the water column. And that's probably the reason we didn't get reefed. I had 900 guesses, and it's a queen fish after all that. Unbelievable. It's a solid fish. There we go. Try and get his head up for you. What a cracking fish. By the man. Look at that for a fish. That is so cool. Queen fish, sometimes called leather skin. They are predators. That gob is massive. And that little storm jig there, it would look just like the bait they were feeding. I actually saw a school of bait cast into it. Now, if you want to see some beautiful fish identification classes, go to the Crab Claw Island local hall tonight. Paul Worsing Fish ID. As you just saw, I never get it wrong, ever. There's lots of fireplaces and there's countless lavatories. A peaceful water feature that makes catering a breeze. A home here in the outdoors is BCF in, BCF in fun. Hey! Ta-da! Oh, I love to keep the heat up here because I'm a cacarette. <laughs> 
The primal real fishing predator HD330 inflatable camo kayak is an absolute gun. With drop stitch PVC construction and a non-slip EVA deck and its incredible stability, it makes it possible to actually stand and cast, and that's a game changer. Three high pressure air valves make for easy inflation and deflation, and there's two removable mesh pockets at the front for easy storage. And on the back, a removable electric motor mounting bracket. How good's that? Don't need the paddle, off you go, and a battery strap to hold your battery in place. You can tell a lot of thought has gone into the design of this kayak. There's a rail blazer rib port built into the kayak on either side, and a rail blazer rod holder that you can switch depending on the style of fishing you're doing. The other great thing, this chair is so good on the back, fully adjustable, both up and down, but you can also move it forward and backwards to help transfer weight. It comes with its own pump. Jet and I put this whole thing together in around five to 10 minutes, so it's easy. A four piece aluminium paddle, and the best news, this entire kit fits into its own carry bag. So in the back of the car, on the back of the ute, and you can get to some pretty cool fishing locations that other people won't be able to access. Seriously, this is a game changer. To find one of these incredible little kayaks, go to bcf.com.au, shop online, or or get in your nearest store, touch it and feel it. I'm here to tell you, you're going to be very, very impressed. And you might catch a few more fish too. Wade, that is up there with one of the best crabbing sessions I've ever had. A few hours at a Crab Claw Island, how aptly named, and we've absolutely smashed it, haven't we? Yeah, we did pretty good today. Besides that crocodile giving us a bit of grief, mate. What do you reckon? Back to the bar at Crab Claw? I'm a little thirsty. The sun's still up, mate, so we've got a bit of time to go out and um, got another surprise up my sleeve there for you. Just one secret spot. I'm nervous. I'll admit, I'm very nervous and just a little excited. <laughs> So Wade, you said you had a secret. You blindfolded me, you drove the car around in circles. Here we are at his secret spot. What's happening? Mate, well, this is the last little chance. There's still a bit of sunlight there left, so just got to go and take you there and have a look, see if we can get some crabs in that, so last little bit. So we're land-based crabbing with Spears and Rio. Yep, that's it, mate. So that's the crab hook there. We're just going to have a quick look. And um, normally it pays off with the goods, but we'll have a look, make sure no one else is watching us. Yep. Because it's a secret. Shh, lead the way. All right, come on. You right, Paul? Yeah, mate. Not this way. I'm following. The terrain's interesting. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Apparently the rewards are worth the trek. Oh, look there, look. One just there. They don't just sit like that. Yeah, yeah, look at him. Are you serious? What's he doing out here? So he's on his way to try and find his little crab hole. Yep. To walk in there for the low tide. So he, he'll come up in the mangroves, and he'll, he'll make a little hole, and he'll wait for the tide to come on so he can move on again and keep keep hunting for food. So we use the hook? Yeah, yeah, we or the just, hand. Just, just hook. Hook him when they're in the little tight spots like that. Yep. And just hook him out, and then once he comes out, you can just Grab him from behind, you know. Do you want me to try and do that? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it. might just do that, just to go be for it. just to be sure to be sure. That's it. That is ridiculous. It's all that, right, eh? Uh, you, I don't think you secret can understand spot. how good your secret spot is. I'm from a place <laughs> called Melbourne where you can't just walk down the mangroves and grab a mud crab. This crab's probably worth what? 60, 70 bucks? Oh easy, mate. Looks a good size and that. We're pretty blessed to have it, eh? You sure are. So, we're gonna continue our crab search in Wade's secret spot. Shh, don't tell a soul. Well, there's one over there, look. No, where? Come over here. Come a bit closer for you. I ain't got the same eyes as Wade. Yeah, look. See him there? Oh, look at the size of the claw on it. Yeah, the good one. He's on yeah. his, it looks like he's ready to run, too. Uh, so that's a tangled web, mate. What are you doing What are you doing there? I've got my hands full. I can't help. That's all right. I'll sort him out for you, then. So how many mud crabs are in these mangroves? Oh, there'll be heaps of them. Oh, he's not happy. Nah. It's a tangled web. Look at the size of that thing. He's actually got one claw stuck under that branch. Just 
perfect time to grab him. So obviously you'd only use the spear if, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if, he's, if he's running or he's in the water. Nah, that's right. So, so he's, he's got his foot there. Yep. So he's, he's still pretty good. And that is how it is done. Well, Wade, I've caught a lot of crabs, but I've never caught crabs this easy. It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty good, mate, eh? Can't complain. I'm not complaining. I don't want to give you a secret spot away, but I think I heard someone just crack a beer at the Crab Claw Bar. Shh. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for everything iFish TV. And don't forget our website, iFish.com.au. I think it's pretty safe to say that was one of the most incredible crab sessions I've ever had. How would you rate that out of 10? Because you're a bit of a legendary crabber. Oh, mate, I don't know. It's pretty average day. We had a bit of bad luck with that crocodile, mate. We you can done. never, ever call this average. To me, it is as good as life gets. I'd say that, but it's about to get better because I can hear the chef calling for some crab, and I cannot wait. You're a legend, man. You're welcome. He's my brand new best crabbing friend. iFish with BCF is proudly brought to you by BCF, boating, camping, fishing. Suzuki, the ultimate outboard, and Steel Line, building Australia in steel.